Hallelujah. I said there is nothing the word of God don't talk about. It gives answers to the scientists. It, it, it gives answers to the, to the medical doctors. It gives answers to every area of profession in this life. Hallelujah. Amen. If people, how many of you know uh, Bishop that he was Lewis? What is his profession? The doctor. His what? Medical. A medical doctor. And if he can put all his profession down and take the Bible, yeah. then you should know that he has seen something. And if you go to his churches, his church, or you go to his churches, that is where you find people who have been to school, who are graduates, who are engineers, who are lawyers, who are doctors, who have put all their profession down and have taken the Bible because they have seen what is in the Bible. I've told you this story over and over, where this guy traveled in a ship. And because he didn't know that when you pay your fare, it covers food and everything. So when the people were eating in the ship, he was hungry and was watching them. He gathered a small uh, uh, biscuit. When he finished chewing it, it's finished. When they got to their destination, then somebody gathered courage and asked him, now why were you not coming to dine with us? He said, oh. I don't have money. I only pay for my fare. He said, oh, then you cheated yourself. Because when you pay for your fare, it includes everything. He said, ah, I didn't know. And you were eating, and I was swallowing saliva. How I wish I would enjoy the food with you. And some of you, you the thing is by you. The answer is there. That miracle is there. But you don't know. If you know, every day you take it and you repeat it, you repeat it, you repeat it. Because Bible says that your confession becomes your possession. So as you take it and confess, as you take it and you repeat it, as you take it to God, because somewhere in the Bible, it says, take my words and return to me. So when you take the word of God and you return to God and you tell God, God, this is what your word is saying. So do it for me. God has nothing to do than to obey his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Close your eyes. I want you to speak to God. I always tell you that God knows your heart. So even as I speak now, He knows your heart. He knows what you are thinking about. I want you to come out of your heart and tell Him that God help me to love to read your word. Simple. Tell Him to help you to love to read His word. Because there are so many good things in his word. That when you get close to it, it will change your life. It will change your destiny. Speak to him. 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 Speak to him that you want him to help you to love his word. He should, he should help you to break that, that laziness when it comes to reading God's word. The devil knows it. So when you take the Bible, then you start sleeping. The devil knows it. So as for Bible, it is not close to you. Maladizo karadazo, shalebre karaduze fekadi nolo badize. Emma karadize stelebre wa kadizo shtan de libedere. Amarino ri kabaduzo shtan de libre ya makarino susu paria. Heavenly Father, we are praying to God that you will help us, O oh God, to be students of your word. You will help us, O oh God, to study and read your word. Help us, O oh God, to read your word. In your word there is life. In your word there is power. In your word, O oh God, there is power to create. There is an ability to change destinies. In your word, there is power to shape in our lives. 
You think God doesn't love you? Say, my God. My God. Even in my sickness. Even in my sickness. Even in my bad time. Even in my bad time. He still loves me. Still Say, neighbor. 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 Never condemn me. Never condemn you me. have no right. My Bible tells me that you cannot condemn me. I am born of God. And I will overcome the world. Even my faith. The way you are talking as if you have to be stopped up. Stop. Talk. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Be careful. Be careful. What you say, what you say. In, front of me. in front of me and behind me. And behind you me. have no power to no no condemn, condemn me. Say, I am born of God. And I will overcome this world. So whatever happens, the hand of the Lord is upon me. Even when I'm alone, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, clap unto the Lord. Hallelujah. No well perform against me. Shall ever prosper, the greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner, more than victorious. I'm the head of the kingdom, filled with his Holy Ghost. Filled with his Holy Ghost. Pam, 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 pam.
my family peace. Say it again. Say God of peace. Do everything in your power to give me peace. Say God of Elijah. Take vengeance by fire on my behalf. And everywhere my name is be heard in hostage. Take vengeance. Say God of Elijah. I saw that woman, that is what I saw out there. 
and she started crying. I said, why are you crying? He says, just yesterday, the man went to BC. He was not coming out of the BC. So you were pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And the pushing was not open. Pushing was not open. So they decided to call for help. And when we said, I don't like reporting something or saying something. They said they pushed, pushed, was not open. So they called the police. When they pushed, the man was dead. Mm -hmm. Something I told the woman about a year or two years ago. We don't speak our mind. There are some things God can stop it if you work on it. That is the work of the enemy. This man, according to what I mean, he never had his joy. He never had what he wanted. Nobody is nobody. There's only the power of God to keep you. There are people who are even not sick. The enemy can take them just like that. So when we come to the house of God, we are doing declarations and other things. You just say something. So that in the realms of the spirit, you'll be highly covered. Your children will be covered. Everything about you will be covered. Don't take it for granted. God is everywhere. But he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If you don't seek the face of God, you will not find him. And you can't seek him anyhow. And if your heart is full, and your heart is occupied, because somebody is troubling you, somebody is worrying you, it's the work of the enemy, so you can't have the Holy Spirit in you. At times you have to throw some things away and free your spirit, so that the Holy Spirit can do what? Work inside of you. Lift your right hand. Say, Jesus, Jesus. By, your power, by your power, by your grace, by your grace. you brought me you brought into 2019. 2019. I am pleading with I you that sustain my life, sustain my, life. my children's life, life. whatever they have planned against me, against my destiny. Let it not stand. Let it not come to pass. Jesus, I am pleading with you for a long life. Life belongs to you. Bible says in Deuteronomy that you, you are power to give life and to take life. You are power to wound and to heal. Jesus, wherever I have moved, spiritually, physically, heal me. Wherever they are planted against me, you are power. Give me long life in Jesus' name. Say, I claim long life for my children, for my generation. They will accomplish their mission on this land before they leave. No man born of woman can destroy them. I'm sorry, pray for you. Before I let that come, I'm sorry, pray for you.